Hello, I'm Lou and welcome back to Open Up The Cloud. This is another video in the series about the Cloud Resume Challenge. In this video, we are going to be doing almost the last portion of our back end. In the last video, we were adding items into our DynamoDB. We were counting the values. So this is actually quite an exciting video because we're now extracting those values and showing them on the page, which means that when we refresh our page, we're gonna see that actual user or the hit count uh, go up as we refresh the page. Um, it's basically gonna be very similar to last week's video because we need to allow the Lambda to have permissions to access DynamoDB. And then the only other thing we need to do now is actually update our HTML file so that it requests our new uh, function, which adds those count values in and then retrieves them back. But that's it. At the end of this video, we're getting very close towards the end. The final bit after this will be the CI CD portion. So what we're going to do is have a look at how to pull values out of uh, DynamoDB and show them. So it's gonna be very similar to the last video. Basically what we need to do is Again, like last time, use the AWS SDK. Last time we were using it for putting in those items into DynamoDB, this time we're using it to get. Let me just quickly show you how that works with my function. And again, this is Golang. So if you're using Python, Node.js, it's gonna be similar, um, but that's fine. Let me show you how it works in Go. So what I've got here is I'm accessing my Cloud Resume table. And again, I'm this time though, I'm getting my item where the ID is equal to visitors, which is gonna be my visitor count a bunch of other uh, serialization and unmarshalling happens here. And then basically what I'm doing is also returning that count value uh, back, to the, uh, back to the user, back to the browser so that we can see it. So I've actually already deployed this and executed it so we can see that working in just a second. And yeah, a couple of other bits is you might wanna set up the local invocation. Last time we added a value to our make file so we could do a local invocation. Same again, all you have to do is swap the name of the function uh, to the name of the resource as with last time. Uh, if I scroll down to the bottom of my template, we just need to grab that name of that function. And also we just need to carry through also the DynamoDB policy, because obviously if we don't carry that through, we are not gonna have access to our DynamoDB table and we're not gonna be able to pull our value back. And that's pretty much it. The only last bit is we probably just want to update our index file so we can actually recall those endpoints. So what we've got here is we're gonna fetch, uh, initially make a put, so we're going to insert into the database and then we're gonna fetch back from the database. Now you could, if you wanted to consolidate this into a single API, maybe that's like a thing for the future that you could add. You could do it as two separate ones, etc. You could also look at cleaning up these endpoints as well, because these at the moment are still hard coded with the sort of the random ID that's generated from API gateway. But then what that's gonna mean is essentially like our visitor count should be working in a very sort of minimal way. So let's have a look at that as well. So here is my, I'm just looking directly at the S3 bucket here. If I go ahead and just do a refresh, what I should see is my count increases. And if I just go crazy and do loads of refreshing, obviously if I refresh too fast, it won't actually refresh. But yeah, look at that, woohoo. Uh, we've got a visitor count loaded from DynamoDB and coming back from two different APIs. That is super neat. And if I look at DynamoDB, uh, we should see, look, 49 visitors, voila. Uh, so that's looking really neat. And basically the only part left is to implement the CI CD, do a bit of refactoring, maybe some testing uh, and some niceties. But ultimately we are, in terms of the actual code and like the, the sort of minimum stuff that you need, this is actually kind of it. Uh, everything else on top of this is gonna be just sort of polishing, cleaning up, a bit of refactoring and, and improving it. Okay, so there you have it. Actually, we are very close now. Uh, to, to completing this whole thing. The last thing we need to do is complete our CI CD, which is our automation pipeline, which we'll cover in the next few videos. And we're getting very close here. So if you're actually following along and you've made it this far, you are incredibly close with the Cloud Resume Challenge and you're very close to completing it. Uh, it's been fun so far, a little bit challenging for me as well. So hopefully you're enjoying it uh, as you go. And if you're following along, then I will see you in the next video.